Welcome to the video, my friends. It's alpha male, white cis, female, hating, historical fact check. And YouTuber, hey thoughts, welcome to the video. And Angry Joe is a battlefield retard fanboy. All right, man, I had to do a wardrobe change, ladies and gentlemen. I had to get me a little more patriotic, even though I'm Canadian. I had to get the American flag going, ladies and gentlemen, because if you don't know what's going on, Battlefield 5 right now seems to be eating shit, pretty much. Long story short, in layman's turn, the game is going to hell in the handbasket. It's flushing down the toilet. Pre-order sales are going way down. And then you got people out here like Angry Joe, who made a video yesterday, sort of in a long way as the Battlefield fanboy is what I'm getting from this video that he made, kind of unbelievably defending EA and what is going on with the game and also at the same time insulting people who are not happy about the fact that the game has sort of what one would call an SJW agenda by the developers and the company and making it all inclusive and putting women in there. And it, it sucks to watch this video because they're celebrating. They are celebrating the destruction and the lower sales of the Battlefield 5 franchise due to those god liberals and those god social warriors putting women in Battlefield. The reason why to them that Battlefield 5 is having lower pre-orders is because there are women on the box, there are women featured tr prominently in the trailers, and there are women in multiplayer. And they're not going to spend a goddamn dime of their $60 on, on, on women being in World War II because that insults their great-grandfather who fought in World War II. No women! In World War II, in my fictional World War II. Ha 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 to EA. Victory for not my battlefield, hashtag MAGA, red hats. Victory for against social justice warriors. But is it really that? Now, to spare you the rest of your brain cells and having to watch the rest of this Angry Joe video, I'll tell you the reasoning why he gives the game has gone to shit in a handbasket and why the sales are way down. It's a simple answer for him. Battlefield 5 is dropping at the same time as Red Dead Redemption 2 and Black Ops 4, two huge blockbuster games. And the fact that those games are dropping all together at the same time is the reason why Battlefield 5 pre-sales and overall Battlefield, I guess, hype is lower than usual. Which makes no sense in any way whatsoever. ever. First of all, Black Ops 4 has been poorly received. The game is not even what we would call super hyped. It's 50-50 down the middle. People like it, people hate it. It's not a hugely anticipated game anymore. So that is a bullshit reason as well, on top of the fact that Battlefield almost always drops at the same time Call of Duty does every year. Battlefield usually drops maybe a few weeks or a month before Call of Duty, but at the same time, give or take a few weeks every single year. So that excuse is horse shit. If Battlefield was actually a good game and people actually wanted to play it and people were hyped about it, then the trailer for Battlefield on YouTube wouldn't have so many dislikes. People be actually hyped about the game. I think also Angry Joe's fans left some really good comments that actually would, you know, explain how they feel about this horseshit video that he made and the reasoning behind why he feels Battlefield 5 is performing so poorly. Laugh at my ass off. Market your game to people who won't play it and insult your original fan base and expect that nothing bad is going to happen. How dense are you to not realize that? That is one of the main reasons why the game is going to shit. Now, this is a quote I'm pretty sure you have all seen before from, I guess he's fired now, EA Chief Creative Officer Patrick Sorderland says that the developer is uninterested in taking flack for diversifying the gaming space. We stand up for the cause because I think those people who don't understand it, well, you have two choices. Either accept it or don't buy the game. Yeah, they told you to go fuck yourself, stick sand up your ass, they're not buying the game. That's the whole point, Joe. They treated people like bullshit. They put stuff in the game that people who buy the game, people who buy the game, don't want in the game. They don't care. They want authentic World War II experience. They want grit. They want war. They don't want women running around with cricket bats and robotic arms like they're half Terminator, half lesbian superhero. <laughs> and the fact that you politicize it and make fun of people and be like, oh, I guess they have to all be Trump supporters that don't like the game and don't like this whole women and women and the nonsense and the snow scope and women jumping out of windows and being so prominent in every single trailer thus far. I guess everybody who feels that way has to be a Trump supporter. I mean, talk about uh, being a bigot there, uh, Mr. Angry Joe. Wow. I guess I'm a Trump supporter because I disagree with you. Thanks, Joe. I mean, that's what's going on in this video. He's basically saying anybody who thinks the reason why the game is dying or not doing well or not performing well has to be a right-wing Trump-supporting MAGA hat-wearing, you know, yee you know, crazy cowboy redneck 
who doesn't want this bullshit in their game. That That's pretty much what he says in his video. And like I said, the reason why he thinks it's actually not doing well isn't because of that. It's because it's dropping between an amazing two games, Black Ops 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2, even though Black Ops 4, like I've already previously mentioned like five minutes ago in this video, isn't what would one say super duper hyped. It's a 50-50 toss up in the fan base. Some hate it, some like it. Battlefield always drops the same time every year, around the same time Call of Duty drops. And Red Dead Redemption 2 wouldn't have that big a negative effect on Battlefield 5 because they're completely two different games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a GTA style open world sandbox all about single player campaign. Battlefield 5 is a multiplayer experience for the most part. Not even in the same deep creek and genre, not even close to the same game. People that would buy Battlefield 5 would buy Red Dead Redemption 2 at the same time. They wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not sure which one to take. There's also even more insults from the developers. I knew this was going to be a fight when I pushed for female soldiers in Battlefield. I have a daughter, and I don't want her to ever have to answer her question of, why can't I make a character that looks like me with, because you're a girl. I fundamentally feel, to my core, this is the right way, and I will find myself on the right side of history. Hey, first of all, you're not on the right side of history, because all the shit you put in Battlefield has nothing to do with actually an authentic World War II experience. And that's nothing about also angry like, oh, my grandpa, you disrespect my grandpa, fought World War II. It's not about that at all. It's about the fact that people are having this bullshit shoved down their throat for who knows, such a small minority of the goddamn people who are actually going to buy the game. You know how many women are going to buy the game? Like three. Three girls. And they're probably Twitch thoughts. I mean, people that be considered gamers nowadays, all I have to do is play a mobile device. My little Asian station wife, Nancy, she plays mobile games. She wouldn't know what the hell to do with a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox or a PC playing a first-person shooter. She'd end up probably, you know, shoot herself in the foot just like any other woman that would be on the front lines of a war. Oh, damn out of Get ripped! 99% of the people buying the game are going to be men, boys, teenagers. It's not going to be a bunch of girls. So, like, this is a bunch of horseshit right here, the right side of the history. And I think many people will play the game despite their reservations. Well... Hate to break it to you there, buddy. Um, it, it, it isn't happening there, Mr. Developer, for uh, DICE. It, it isn't happening, no, because sales are down. And people are happy, Joe. You know why people are happy? Because they're actually standing up to EA, because EA is a bullshit company to begin with. Remember Battlefront 2? All the crappy microtransactions and DLC and all that shit, and it basically destroyed the game? Yeah, people had enough of this horse shit, and it's awesome that people are standing up. And then, you know, I know you're a big Battlefield 5 fanboy, Angry Joe, and all you Battlefield fanboys out there like, oh my god, this guy's so crazy. Oh, what a hater you are, eight thoughts. You know what? Cool. Let the game go to shit. No one cares because people need to make a stand for once and it's actually happening and that's why people are happy. I wish the Call of Duty community would get some balls like this and tell Call of Duty to go pound sand. So, no, Joe. You don't have to be a right-wing SJW hating Trump supporting MAGA hat wearing as you would call him like a redneck you know, out there to not be liking what's going on with Battlefield. No, you just have to be not a moron fanboy who is completely just throwing out a bunch of bullshit from the New York you know basement suite that you live in talking trash about your subscribers. That's that's why you have so many dislikes on the video. And people are tired of being treated like crap. People are tired of, you know, telling companies that their problems they have with the game and being told to, you know what, either buy the game or don't buy the game. It's not because that it's dropping in between two big titles. And that's not the case at all. It's not doing well because, first of all, people don't want to play a World War II game anymore. It looks nothing much different from World War I. It's not authentic. It's not looking like it's going to be an amazing game with women running around, with cybernetic lesbian arms, no scoping people jumping out of windows, jump on the back of tanks, you know, like black dudes with mohawks and purple, I don't know, gay vests on jumping down the street with like testicle piercings going oh yeah die punch a nazi yeah. people are tired of the nonsense tired of being told like this is how you're supposed to behave oh we gotta be inclusive and all that kind of stuff regardless of the reality why don't you actually put them where it's realistic that's the problem with the world nowadays and that's why people are standing up to this game they're not have to they don't have to be some crazy you know redneck from freaking louisiana who thinks trump is the greatest person to ever walk the earth they don't have to be that it isn't that divided people are tired of the bullshit and the gaming community is taking a stand. Because when you're trying to make everything inclusive for 0.001% of the world population, you can't do that. I mean, there's more people out there who walk the streets who are crazy who think they're Jesus than who are actually gonna buy this game because there's women in it. It's just, it's ridiculous. And Joe, your video was ridiculous. I like most of your stuff. I'm pretty sure you're gonna probably watch this video. I hope you watch at the end here. Because I know what, most of the stuff you make is pretty awesome. But this one, obviously you got 13,000 or 12,000 dislikes to 17,000 likes. You obviously know that people aren't exactly pumped on your video and you may have stuck your foot in your mouth. Or you're getting paid by EA to make the video. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, thank you for watching the video. My name is White Sis, Toxic Masculine Male 8 Thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe.
And last but not least, and most importantly, my pedigree chums, you all stay black. Oh yeah, tonight's SummerSlam. Oh, the SummerSlam is tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, don't talk cracker. Oh yeah, reptilian and Jake Jim, they're building the moon base. Look, there's brilliant game drills. Dig it, that level was inside job. Oh yeah, the moon go worship in Alice. With the flat moon landing was fake. Hello, Jones and Billy X4 to the Bronze Game. Wait, man. Yeah! <laughs>